What is going on guys, The Game and Ram here, and welcome back to BeamNG Drive, and today we're going to be doing a tow challenge, as you guys can see over there, we have this little boy trailer, and then we have this 88 Chevy uh, monster truck that is uh, loaded up, now this truck's pretty dang heavy, as it is a monster truck, so they, now we couldn't have the monster truck tires because they wouldn't fit on the trailer, so we had to put on the transport tires just so they could fit on the trailer. But, again, the truck is still pretty heavy along with the trailer and we have to have this dolly because obviously we don't have a way to, to run a semi-trailer. So we have this. So we got to pick the Ram up uh, a little bit later today. We got one, but we don't have it with us at the moment. So we got to run with these two for now. So until we can get the Ram, we have the Ford and the Chevy. Uh, look at this. this. Look at this color here on this Chevy. This is a pretty interesting color. It's like a mint green, uh, which is like a metallic which is very unique in its way very unique but and because the the chevy really don't have a tow package uh so we had to slap one on here really quickly and uh this is the only way we can get when you go on here um we just have did it <laughs> we just have to tow uh the tow hitch uh for now uh but we're gonna get the four hooked up and we're gonna do the four first now this whole challenge is going to be interesting because, as you can see over there, there is a hill right here, and then there is a big, giant hill here. We are on the West Coast. We are in California, and we are in San Francisco. And as you can imagine, in San Francisco, they have a lot of hills and stuff. So, let's get hooked up. So, oh, as you can see, we are we got a squat going on right now. So, I'm pretty sure all these trucks are going to squat. But, the squatting is not what we're going to be worrying about. We're going to be seeing who can tow now what we need four-wheel drive. I guess we could do it. and Let's do a test to see which truck is better. Uh... Let's see which truck is better with rear-wheel drive, and then we'll lock it and put it on four-wheel drive. So we're going to put her in low and see if we can pull it. This is a big, giant trailer, so it's going to be interesting at least to see any of them pull this trailer. Here we go. All right, here we go. We are in the Ford F-250. Oh yeah, there it is. There it is. Alright, let's let off. We don't want to burn the, the truck up here. So let's lock the diffs and put it in four-wheel drive. And let's see what we got. Alright, we can't get nothing to happen. I'm gonna try to bag back and see maybe if a run and start would help us. 
but I really doubt it. I told you, it's a heavy trailer. It's a heavy setup. It don't look like it, but it's heavy. All right, let's see if we can get a running start at it. Here we go. All right, forward. Here we go. Oh, baby, let you go. So that's as far as the... That's as far as the four can go, which is about halfway, which is actually pretty dang impressive. So we're gonna... Oh! We're gonna bag it back. We're gonna hook up the Chevy, and we're gonna see what the Chevy can do. Alright, here we go. We're gonna see what the Chevy can do. We're gonna do the same run and start almost. Here we go. Oh, it almost made it almost just as far as the, the Chevy. I mean, almost just as far as the Ford, but no way. No way. The, the Chevy has a lot more of like a smooth power. One of you got to make it up this. Nope. That's it. The Ford made it the farthest. Ford made it the farthest. I gotta back it back a little bit more so we can get the RAM in here. That's good enough. Alright, we got the RAM hooked. And we're gonna lock the diffs. We're in foil drive, and here we go. Wait, we got to put it in low. I forgot about that. All right. Wait, hold on. Low. There you got it. All right, here we go. Oh, with the, with the run and start, Ram made it the farthest. You can see the marks. There's the Ford, and then there's me, and then the Chevy's over there on the... All right, so it depends. I mean, if we were talking for... If, we, if we we're talking about a dead stop, uh, dead stop, the Ford. The Ford made it the farthest. If we're talking about um, a head start, Ram. Um, the Chevy made it... Not that far than the four did. I can get out and I can show you the marks. So up in the middle, this is the middle. This is the Ford. All right. This is with the head start. It made it right here, and it died out. All right. So there's your Ford, right here. Actually, technically, it made it about right here. So that's where the Ford died. Over here, this is the Ram. This is as far as the Ram got, and then it died. The Chevy over here got to about right here and died. That's the Chevy. So if you want to take comparisons here, it depends. Like I say, uh, the Chevy, head start, or if you want to go from a dead start, it depends on who's the winner. If you're going for a dead stop, um, I have to say probably the Chevy because it was capable of pulling up this way without any wind, wind spill. Without any tire spin at all. Back here, this is the Ford, and then it got to about right here. Not even there, about right here, and then it died. So, the head start goes to the Ram. And then the dead stop has to go to the, uh... 
probably either the Ford or the Chevy, just because I don't really, I don't think we did a head start with the Ford that much. So. This is a Ram about at a, about a dead stop here. So here we go. The Ram has a lot more speed. There it is. So, honestly, the Ram is pretty good at it. Like, from a dead stop, without the head start, the Ram, it just pulls. You know, it spins, but it pulls. So, this is test number two. All right, so here is test number two. Let's say you're on track day and you got to go up this big giant hill. So, decide to let's go ahead and do it. So, you got everything loaded up. And for an example, we just brought a big challenger to fill this spot. <laughs> That's real, the weight will do it. Got the Ram 2500, and let's go to this track. So the Ram, as you guys can see, it was actually capable of doing that. We had a little bit of wheel spin. Nothing crazy. Now we are in four wheel drive, but we do not have diff lock. I want to test brakes. It can stop very Great, but the transmission, as you guys might have seen, it was struggling a little bit. So, pretty decent, but we definitely had wheel spin and going up there. Now, if you want to test it in two-wheel drive, we'll test that out right now. So, this is two-wheel drive. Jeez, I know it's a bolt, but man, come on. <laughs> All right, it won't pull the boat. Let's bag back here. Hold on, let me see. Let me try it. Diff lock on the rear. So there you go. Uh, in two wheel drive. Ram 2500 did not like it. So I'll put a marker down to kind of where the Ram's at in two-wheel drive. And then we got the other trucks, and I'll show you. Ram made it about right here. All right, let's grab the other truck, which is will be the Ford. So we do the same test. We're gonna try it in full drive first. No diffs. And here we go. Oh yeah. Oh my goodness, look at this. Oh my goodness, like butter. The Ford F-250 is pulling like a train. Look at this. Wow, that was impressive. <laughs> Not a, no wheel spin, just straight power. Just like, yep, this is what you want to do. All right, gotcha. Brake, nice brakes, pretty decent brakes. Not the best brakes, but if you got to stop, pump them hard and hopefully you stop, the, hopefully you stop everything. That's all I'm going to say. Let me test this out. Suspension. Nice. That was very nice. Brakes going downhill. 
be watch it. <laughs> That's the only thing I would say. Watch it, because it will stop eventually. Just not that quick. But uh, yeah, so far the four is winning as far as four wheel drive towing uphill. But can and will it have what it takes to do it in two wheel drive? Hold on, let me get this trailer straight. Let me back it back here. Let me back it back here. I gotta be where I started with the Ram, which is about right here. And we're gonna take it out of four wheel drive. Take it out of four wheel drive. And here we go. That's without diff lock. Bring it back. 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 Ooh, hold it. We can start from here, I guess. Let's do diff lock on the rear and let's see what it does. So this is with diff lock. Alright. Hold on, let me see. Come on now. All right, let's try this. All right, so there is the Ford right there. So there's the Ford. That's how far the Ford made it. All right, bring it back down, and then we'll do it with the, the Chevy. Here we go. This is four-wheel drive. Just four-wheel drive. All right. Pretty smooth. This truck does have the Allison transmission in it. The Allison six-speed. That's a you cannot go wrong with that transmission. The transmission is just so good. All right, we're gonna do our brake test right now. Solid brakes. Very solid brakes on the Chevy. Downhill, might be a different story though. With the big kitty push it through the stop sign, let's see. That's 50 miles an hour, jump maybe, brakes. Oh, look at this. The Chevy has the best brakes and that was 50 miles an hour going downhill, and we stopped well before the stop sign, even in the air. Wow, impressive. All right, this is round number two. This time, we're going to be testing it in just two-wheel drive. Here we go. So, two-wheel drive, no diff lock on the rear. I think it made it the farthest without diff lock than the other two trucks. This time we're going to try it with just the differential locked on the rear. Once when I get it bagged all the way back down the hill. That's as good as it's going to get. Look at that. Well, if you want to see who came in second place, there is your Chevy. All right. So, hypothetically, the four is our winner because exactly where you see where this front tire is is exactly where the four rear tires was, which I just rolled back way too much. So the winner is the four F two fifty, but that one's a little bit more complex because we did a little bit more than one test. 
if you're testing about the tow capabilities, um, as far as tow capabilities go, it goes to the Duramax. Like the Chevy Silverado uh, was the better tow rig, uh, just all all around. You know, for an example, we did this in two wheel drive uh, with rear diff lock, and this is how far it made it. If you do four wheel drive without no diff locks. We managed to just, we managed to pull that trailer all the way around, like, no problem. Allison six-speed, perfect transmission, just bloop, 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 and then pull. So, no hesitations. The Ford F-250, also no hesitations, but it did hesitate in, like, the first, second, uh, I believe, second to third gear. And then after the third gear, then the transmission... Then the transmission, it meant it figured out exactly what we was doing. It's like, oh, so you want to tow? So okay, I got you. And then it started to pull. But in our last place, not not very surprising, <laughs> is our Ram twenty five hundred, which in uh, rear wheel drive it only managed to go about right here. That's where it stopped. So you can see who made it the farthest. In just two wheel drive and diff lock. And the 2500, it did pull up this hill all the way, but it was spinning its wheels all the way to about right here. In four wheel drive, it was spinning its tires the whole time. And then after that, it was it was in the low range, kind of like bogging down, but it still had power, so it didn't downshift. So, like I say, it depends on what you're going for. You know, if you want that smooth, smooth, I mean smooth, man, towing, I would say go with a Chevy Silverado HD. But if you want something that is capable of doing, honestly, the... I would say the winner of the challenge, depending on which challenge you want to look at it, because we had a challenge back here, and what truck was capable of doing that was, in fact, um, was the Ram. So, when it comes to towing, on Flatland, the Ram 2500 is actually a really good truck as far as a tow rig. But once when you're talking about going up mountains and talking about going up hills and stuff like that, I wouldn't pick the Ram 2500. I would pick, um, I would pick the Chevy Silverado HD, just because it was smooth. That transmission, that Allison six-speed, oh my God, mwah, perfect transmission, smooth, 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 smooth. Cannot get over how smooth that transmission is, and just instantly, just tow, no problem. Without it, you had perfect stopping power. Uh, suspension was perfect. Everything about the HD was actually really, really nice. Uh, and the Ford, just overall, it was good. Almost, yeah, I say it comes in second place. But like I say, it depends on what you want to score here. I mean, because the, the first challenge, uh, Ram actually took it home. But it did struggle. And that's what we're looking at here is which truck didn't struggle the most. And that's why I say... It probably has to be the Chevy, but if you want to talk about what was able, what was capable of doing everything, it has to be the Ford F two fifty. I mean, it's a two fifty. This is not a three. This is not a four fifty, and it still managed to do it. So, there is your test. This is our towing challenge, uh, which is pretty good. I mean, it managed to to pull the kitty right here, uh, which is a nice. Nice, nice weight, you know, a nice, on a, depending on how, how much the trailer weigh, but it is a dually trailer, so it's not light by any means, and uh, our winner uh, definitely goes to the HD, that's for sure, but anyway guys, I hope you guys liked this video, if you did, hit the like button, subscribe, turn that post notification so you know when I post videos, and uh, comment down below, what should we test next with the trucks, um, and what should be our final test, what would you guys like to see? I will see you guys next time. Peace out.